what we're going to do. I'm going to tag her Instagram in the podcast description. You'll also see it on my Instagram and all my social media, what will be tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And she will post a photo from the podcast in the comment section. Comment. Or in yours. Because you, you have 1.4 in yours. Yes. So either the photo <laughs> on the photo of me and her on my page or the photo of her and I on. We want to hear your page. story. Tell the story. And we will give you, I'll send you a free box of a shit ton of Young and Reckless clothes. Some bundles. Some bundles. Yeah. Uh, a free pizza if you live in LA. <laughs> and and we'll create a video profile for we'll the company that you're, that you're creating. Deal. Uh, deal. I like that. Okay. Last thing is tell everyone where to find you, the company. Sure. Just tell them where to go. And, and Instagram is my favorite, yep. I think, unless you want to talk to my mom on Facebook. It's <laughs> Rosalind C, R-O-S-L-Y-N-N-C. And our company is called MyDivio, M Y. D-I-V is in Victor, E-O dot com. So. What's going on, Rosalind Drama? Uh, my name is Zach Davenport. I'm from Louisville, Kentucky, and I'm a almost religious listener of your podcast, uh, Short Story Long. I have it on all the time when I'm trying to create or get motivated or to, to really get my shit together, uh, to be honest with you. Uh, after listening to your last episode, I really felt inclined to make a comment on your post and let you know how inspired I really get from listening to your podcast. It, it's crazy to think that that uh, just not even a year ago, maybe a little bit more, my ideas were just ideas. And, uh, you know, after listening to your podcast and uh, a little bit of grit and grind and faith of my own, uh, I'm starting to make those into reality. Um, you know, after listening to Bobby Hundred's episode, uh, you know, from a while back, talking about how you don't want to be 40 and dying and stuck in something you don't want to do, I've really tried to make my passion into a, uh, into a lifestyle. Um, you know, I've, I'm trying to take my personal brand and my, you know, uh, social currencies you guys talked about and use that influencer marketing type strategies and turn that into something that I can actually, uh, you know, use. And uh, I uh, have an existing clothing brand that I'm trying to transition into a um, artist management and brand development type thing with my partner. Um, because here in Louisville, Kentucky, you know, just like you, drama, you know, uh, coming from, you know, sort of Midwest, it's it's hard to find resources that'll help you build your own brand, or even, uh, you know, learn how to aesthetically build a social media profile or just a lifestyle. You know, like Bobby Hundred said, uh, and you both, I mean, really, just about any guest that you've had on has said it's easier now than ever to create a clothing brand. Um, you know, and I take pride in a lot of uh, what I do in terms of my art, and that's what I want to do now. Uh, is, is start kind of a new new brand that I can um, elevate my art into new heights and partner up with friends of mine that create and things like that to uh, do, as I say, deport and friends is, is what I want to call it. My my handle on Instagram and Twitter and things like that are, you know, have deport in it, which is the shortening of my last name. And uh, I want to kind of, you know, put my spin on different uh, people's things and uh, really collaborate. And I'm hoping that one day maybe Young and Reckless or you or Rosalind or whoever else out there that would be interested uh, can end up being my friend like that one day. And uh, I just want you to know that your tra your podcast has definitely transformed my work ethic. And, uh, you know, people like Kevion and, and Rosalind and, you know, um, there, there's just so many other guests on there that have, uh, I've listened to and really resonated with. So I'm hoping that I can give back to my city by helping other creative people and like-minded people here in Louisville uh, kind of learn what to do because I took a trip out to LA over spring break and I just realized that if we had half of those opportunities here that you know this could be a booming city just like say uh, you know a Seattle or somewhere like that where where um, a lot of, of new young traffic goes so like I said I just want to thank you guys so much for the opportunity and taking your time out to make this podcast for us and this episode specifically and uh I'll be expecting that pizza very soon. I don't live in L.A., but if I have to come to L.A. to get it, I will. Uh, you'd be surprised how much pizza I eat on a daily basis. So between that and uh, all the other things that you guys are offering, I'm very excited to hear back from you guys. Thank you. Hi, Rosalind. Hi, Drama. Um, I have actually taken bits and pieces from every single short story long um, podcast and three specific ones that I have really implemented were Gerard Adams, who helped me create my name as the mental health mentor. And he also actually gave me the courage to launch my blog and my website, younglosangeles.com. Um, the second podcast on Short Story Long was Kevion, who talked about his 10 life tips and he also talked about the aid method, which I have started using daily. 
and the third one was Rosalind who had her ingenious idea of a video resume and I actually can't wait to get home tonight so that I can film something of sorts um, just to start sending out and connecting and approaching people in a new and innovative way. Um, I hope to implement one actionable item from every podcast that I listen to um, to help grow my own movement of mental health and I hope to affect people in talking about mental wellness and using it to change their lives. And I just want to say thank you, Drama, for teaching us so much and for creating this podcast and for all of the people that come on there to help people like me. So thank you. Bye. What's up, Rosalind? It's Nance. I'm an artist from Raleigh, North Carolina. I rap, write, produce, make my own videos, throw my own shows, all that good stuff. And I'm leaving you this video today to let you know why I listen to Short Story Long, but also what I take away from it. Every single guest follows their heart and they take chances. And I believe this is true with you, um, making video profiles and just believing that that is the future. Um, that's like a key. And that's, that's, that's one reason why your episode really stuck out to me. And I had to go leave a comment on your, uh, on your Instagram. Um, Cause I also believe that video profiles are the future. I actually just raised $10,000 on Kickstarter. And the main reason was my Kickstarter video. It just kind of was a resume and showed everybody what I've been doing and what I plan to do with the funding. So um, yeah, I just believe video profiles are the future. It's just, it's so true. Um, so yeah, the main thing I take away is that people take chances and they, they follow their heart. And I actually implemented this a few years ago in my own career when Instagram videos first came out. I saw it as an opportunity to promote my shows, my my events in my hometown that I was doing. And instead of just posting like a flyer online saying, hey, the show was this Friday, come out, I would make funny videos that would catch people's attention, but also promote the show that I'm throwing. So um, it turned out great, and I still do it to this day. When I first started making those videos, around 200 people would start coming out to my shows. Um, so it, it was like a local success. Everybody was talking about how we have the most unique promo to the, promote my shows and all that good stuff. So, um, so yeah, I just wanted to leave you this message to let you know that your episode really inspired me. Um, I wish you the best of luck on creating video profiles. I think it's going to be a success. Um, I know you believe that. So keep pursuing it. Thank you so much, Rosalind, for this opportunity. Um, and yeah, I'll see you out there.